everybody and welcome to Graphic Intention. Today I am bringing you a start to finish, almost start to finish, time lapse video of the five panel love by Huacan. Um, I lost the first part of this um, panel's videos because my, my uh, computer was being a uh, paper in the Apple and uh, just, you know, having issues. So I apologize for losing the part of that video, but the rest of them are there in their entirety. Um, so let's do a little bit of a review on this canvas. The first and fifth panels are 20 by 30. The second and fourth are 20 by 40, and the third is a 20 by 50. So overall, if you took the average, it's about 100 centimeters by um, 37-ish, something like that, which isn't a horrible size. It took me um, 37 hours to do all of these different panels. Now. The only issues I had were I had a little bit of popping issues, but that was only if I used a multiplacer, and that's because um, it's really difficult to get your lines perfectly straight if you're using a multiplacer. If you get it just a little bit off, um, it starts out a little bit on one side and it can get rather large on the other side uh, as you go along your multiplacer and then trying to adjust and maneuver and push everything together can get a little more difficult. If I hand, if I singularly placed the drills, I had absolutely no problem, no popping, no spaces or anything like that. It went beautifully. Um, the adhesive was really great. It's a good uh, thickness and there were no rivers or bubbles. There were no creases in the canvas or anything like that. Um, so uh, the overall quality were really good. Uh, even the 310 drills, which are the black drills, were um, there were a few that were a little bit of different sizes, but for the most part, I would say 98% of the drills were uniform and didn't have the knobbies and were uh, good quality. I didn't see any drills that had holes in them except for one color and these uh, canvases are 35 to 40 colors, and uh, they do have some different uh, variants of colors throughout the different panels. So I would say altogether, I worked with 60 to 65 colors on all the all of the panels, and through those, only one of them had bubble problems, and it was a light brown, so it was really easy to see uh, the the problem, the bubbles that were in it. So I threw probably half of the, those away and even throwing half of those away, I still had plenty of color left to finish the entire um, painting. I So I really can't complain about that. Uh, at the Towards the end of the video, you'll see my trash container and it will look like it's rather full, um, but don't be, don't be, uh, misled by that because what happens is especially with who can who puts their drills in individual ziploc baggies lost boys get in them very often so a lost boy is a color that does not match the rest of the colors so if you have a bag of 310 and it's got an 817 in there or if you have a color or you know a bag of black and it's got a blue one in there you know that blue one doesn't belong so I pull that out and I put that in the trash drill even though there's nothing wrong with it I'm not gonna sit there and look for where it belongs because at the end of this canvas at the end of this painting, I had a lot of Lost Boys and it would take me forever to sit there and individually look one by one by one to see where they belonged. Because some of the colors you could um, pick out because they belonged uh, somewhere else in the canvas. There were other colors that matched, but a lot of them were not colors that were in this canvas. Like I had a um, a purple one and I did not have purple or I had orange I didn't have that orange so I just go ahead and throw all of my lost boys in my trash container which is okay because I don't throw away any of my trash drills I use those for other projects like if I want to um, 
well, actually one of the projects I'm working on right now is I made a, a small glass vase that has a heart on it and I took the the same color of drill and I I filled in that heart with that color of drill so I, it's a light blue and then I'm taking the rest of the drills and I just toss them on the inside of that vase. So it's creating a nice colorful effect on the inside of the vase. And those drills are actually gonna hold in place the flowers that I put in there. So um, that's what I'm doing with those uh, trash drills at the, at the moment. I will come up with other ideas and other ways to use your trash drills so that you're not throwing them away. I don't know if you have picked this up through um, my other other videos or not, but I am a huge proponent of recycling, reusing, or reducing waste. So um, I'm constantly trying to find ways of using things that I would normally throw away. I still have not found a use for the cover of that opaque cover that you get on these canvases, but I'm pretty sure I will be able to think of something. I might even be able to turn that into a wrapping paper idea. Um, anyway, uh, so the, that is a little bit of the introduction to this canvas. Um, I think that the end product is really, really cute. I am going to be giving it away as a, a housewarming gift, and I think that this will look fantastic um, above the couch in the living room or down a hallway or something like that. Uh, it's just really cute and the colors are adorable. All right, so now that we have done a little bit of the review, uh, let's do the rating. So the rating that this canvas got was a five star. Um, the five stars are composed of one star is given for price of the canvas. The canvas cost me $14.37, I think, somewhere around there, which is really reasonable for a five panel canvas of this size. Um, the second is for delivery time, which um, Huacan is in China, and they, the company itself shipped the items the day that I ordered them. Now, it took a little under a month for them to arrive, but that's not Huacan's fault. Uh, what happens is, first, it's got to get to America, and then it's going to sit in Chicago for a little while going through customs. And uh, customs can sometimes delay depending on the volume um, that they have coming through. So I can't knock Huacan for it taking so long, even though they shipped it um, the day that it was ordered. So they did get that star. Uh, the third star is for the quality of canvas and adhesive. This canvas and adhesive were flawless. None of them had any issues, so they got the star for that. The fourth star is for the quality of drills. Uh, all of these drills were really shiny. Um, the colors seemed to be really bright and um, there, there weren't very many popping problems or uh, any that had the indented bottoms or anything like that. So the drills were really good. They got a star for that. And then the fifth star is for the overall finished product. Does it shimmer? Does it um, hold on to the drills? Is it, you know, does, does it look good? Uh, does the picture look pixelated and all of those kinds of things? And the finished product on this is amazing. Um, the clarity is phenomenal. For it being such small canvases, uh, the individual panels, you can still make out all kinds of details. There are some words and letters written in the background of this uh, panel and you can even make out what it says. You can see it really good at the end uh, when I do the, the overall view of all of the completed pieces. So I am beyond happy with that. While I was doing it, yeah, I was a little worried because you're so close up and you're so focused on, you know, each individual color that it's hard to see the forest through the trees. But once I was completed with all five panels and I stood back and looked at it, it just looked so good. 
so yes uh who can did get the fifth star as well uh so those are the five stars that i give the um this particular canvas and i was very happy with the overall outcome all right, so now that we have gotten the Canvas information out of the way, let's move on to talking a little bit about me, my favorite subject. No, I'm kidding, but <laughs> I heard somebody say that once. I've always wanted to say it. So <laughs> anyway, um, okay, so where am I at in life? I had mentioned a while ago that I was doing a competition with my mom to lose weight and we had a little bit of a hiccup because we did some stress eating. I found out that my uncle um, has, I think it's pancreatic cancer, and they he, he doesn't have a good prognosis. So we did a lot of stress eating for a little while uh, while dealing with that. So all of the weight that I lost, I quickly gained back. But um, I have since returned to my healthy eating habits and have again lost um, some weight so I think as long as I continue picking back up where I left off then I'll be okay um, some other things going on is I'm still in the process of trying to sell my house. I don't know why people don't want to buy it, but it's just not selling. So I'm a little aggravated about that because um, two thirds of everything I own is in a storage unit and has been for a little over a year. Um, but I continue packing because I am convinced that eventually I will sell this house and I will be able to move into my dream home, um, which is not quite there yet. So if you uh, believe in good vibes, put out some good vibes for me to have a buyer for this house. Um, some other news is um, I went to my tattoo artist and um, if you are in the Conroe area, I'm going to give a shout out for Eye for an Eye Tattoo Parlor in Conroe, Texas. I am working with Jessica. She is one of the artists there and I had a double mastectomy a few years ago and then I had um, the implants and the reconstruction and everything and then I had some issues and the implants have since been removed. So I have a flat chest and I went and I worked with, uh, I talked to Jessica and she is designing me a tattoo for um, the front of my chest and I'm really excited about it uh, because she's I'm not a you know flowers and rainbows kind of person I'm more of a macabre dark uh, you know the the shadow version um, is what kind of is is what I like so I told her um, if she could draw me up some dark twisted evil uh, alien type plants or foliage um, working their way through um, some kind of a scenery and uh, one of the things that I wanted for her to incorporate is uh, my one of my best friends is no longer with me and so it it, it kind of turned my heart uh, there's a hole there, right? So there, it's not a black heart, but it's a hole in the heart. So it is black, if that makes sense. So she's going to incorporate that hole in the heart with this um, big chest piece. So I am beyond thrilled about that. And I will show some pictures of her drawings once those come about. But I just wanted to share that with you because I'm just thrilled to pieces and really looking forward to that. I have to wait for the rest of my scars to heal before I can actually get the tattoo. But I will be doing a video um, about that process in you know once that happens so keep it a lookout for that if you're interested in that sort of thing um, some other videos that I have coming to you is um, ideas on how to wrap presents without using anything that can't be recycled and um, I have some thinking out of the box type of ideas such as using a toothpaste toothbrush holder as a craft um, tool holder 
and things like that. So keep an eye out for those videos. And uh, this here is the look at the overall image. And you can see the wording. Uh, I mean, just the details in this is really great. Uh, the shimmer is fantastic. I just love the way the square drills make the piece look like it's one nice big painting. Uh, the round drills don't really have that. But I hope you ha enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope I see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.